everyone what is up welcome to show better my name is steven and i paid five artists on fiverr to create a render of the same project this video is sponsored by fiverr but much more on that later so basically i had seen a ton of videos talking about fiverr and photography fiverr and video editing and i was just curious on how this would apply to architecture and of course architecture renderings so i took an old project that I had worked on a few years ago with an architectural office here in Bogota, a competition which we did not win and decided to use it as the model for the renderings. Well, I decided to use it for the model for this these renderings in this video. So when we did the competition, I was the one in charge of the renderings and those were about seven to eight years ago right now. So I can't say I'm a big, big fan of them, but that is the skills that I had at that moment. Now I made a folder that I sent to each artist on Fiverr with the 3D model, some reference images, some material reference images, and some possible points of view. And so now what we have to do is uh, find the artist. So let's start looking for the artist. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start looking for the perfect artist uh, for this gig. And maybe I'm gonna type in architecture render, architecture uh, rendering, uh, realistic rendering, I don't know, let's see. Architecture render. I want to create um, various types of uh, render or I wanna have various gigs because I wanted something to compare as in price and in quality. So I'm gonna have one from, even from $15, 10 bucks maybe, or one to even, I don't know. One million dollars. So we have some interesting ones here. Um, they all have their own rating, which makes me a little bit reassured that it's they're not gonna steal my money or anything. I'm sorry, I'm from a Latin American country, so. Okay, so I wanna show you some artists that I've selected that I think uh, will do a more or less interesting job. So the first one is Stefano, and Stefano says he will do a real realistic render exterior design of your house building. So I'm worried because my project is a faculty of arts. It's a little bit bigger, but I have I have a well detailed model of it. So maybe it won't be such of a problem. If we see some of the images that he has, well, honestly, there are really, really good images. I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about them. And if we see the basic plan, he offers 3D modeling. He includes environment. He includes furniture and people and texture and lighting and rendering. I mean, come on, this is like the full package. It says it delivers in two days. So that's a really fast turnaround of the project. So let's do it. This next artist is called Fahim Faroki and he has four orders in queue and he has done 67 orders with a five-star rating. I mean, come on, this is a really, really good rating for of a person like every job has been more or less perfect. And he says that he will create a realistic 3D architecture animation and renders. Come on, animation and renders. Yes, please, thank you. Let's see what his portfolio has to say. If he makes anything close to this, then my money will be well worth it. Or something like this. This more looks, this looks a little bit more Lumion-ish, but still it doesn't look that bad. There's like a sense of composition in this image, which kind of reassures me that it's in good hands and you know obviously the rating is, is really good so i think the price that we're going to go well the standard and premium are on another level for the price for me so maybe i'm going to stick to the standard and the standard says that he is going to only include furniture and people but he is going to include four renderings he will so that's very very interesting let's do this is our next artist is a level two seller called tony visual tony thank you thank you um i can see tony that you're a very residential kind of rendering artist if you know if we can call you that and you have some very interesting images very residential kinds of images which kind of worries me a bit because again i have a, a very public kind of faculty a big scale large scale project but i think that you're the man for the job you have 77 orders with a 4.9 rating and nine orders in queue that means you're a busy guy i envy you tony let's see what you have to de deliver tony will deliver in his basic package 
he will deliver or in 14 days that's that's a little bit much but let's see if we can maybe negotiate that tony what do you think yes no so he says he includes only the environment one rendering and texturing and lighting and i just want to say that i consider all of these prices to be very very cheap i mean if you want to pay a, a i don't know a lutigon artist a mirror artist these are not even close to the numbers i mean not like even triple or four times it's a lot a lot higher so i understand like the whole business and uh it's good for for being a freelance job the next artist is called thomas or thomas uh, i'm not sure how you pronounce your name and he says he will do architecture exterior and interior design plus high quality 3d renderings and let's look at the portfolio if my image just looks a little bit close to this image right here like the kind of like the glass he has the composition in this image then i will be happy as hell so thomas i'm excited yes let's do it and let's continue the last one i think i want to go a little bit higher tier and this one is by a9 render and a9 render says this is very straightforward very to the point I will create a realistic 3D rendering that works for me. 51 jobs have been done with a 4.9 rating and four orders in queue. So that's a pretty good rating and uh, let's go continue. Okay, so now we just have to wait until these artists uh, complete their jobs and I will see you here in one week to see the results. Let's go. A few moments later. Okay, to be honest, um, I already have the results. I pre-recorded this video because I just couldn't risk uh, you know, seeing how much time it was actually going to take. It took around two weeks because some artists really do did them uh, very quick and some took more than a week. So um, I have the results and let's check in and see what were the final images that they sent us. Let's go. Okay, so in total, there were they were five gigs and let's go with the first one the, with the $15 gig with Stefano. All right, so let's Stefano. Let's see what you delivered us. Okay, so Stefano gave us three images. So thank you, Stefano, for your images, first of all, for your time, second of all. And from what I, what I can see just right here, the images are more or less from the same perspective. So um, Kind of weird but all right let's open the images all right well this is not that bad i mean for 15 bucks i mean 15 bucks this is super cheap this is really a really good job because first of all he took the time to put a lot of plants over here a lot of uh people uh in the inside of the building a lot of trees you want a lot of people near the window, like, uh, you know, seeing what is going on outside outside. And he also took the time to, you know, map this um, this whole grass right here, which was kind of uh, ambiguous. Uh, if you want, if you want to say something, you can see that it has a very Lumionish style. Let's look at the other images, You're more or less the same point of view. It just person that took the picture, maybe sat down a little bit. Let's just sit, sit down in the chair. And then now he's like laying down. So he took the three pictures of standing, sitting and laying down. But overall, Stefano, for 15 bucks, this is pretty good. And I think Stefano sent it over in the actually two days. So thank you for sending it over and uh, very good job. Our next result is by the $50 one. So this is by Fahim and Fahim sent me over seven different images. I mean, come on, seven different images. Wow. Thank you, Fahim. The thing is, uh, well, from what I see, some of these images are not always consistent, but it's really interesting that he sent me seven. So let's take a look at them and let's see what, what he sent us. So this is the first one. Looks interesting, a little bit Lumionish, uh, but I like it. Not that much, but I like it. This one I like a lot. You know why? Because it has kind of a, a, a yellow light that is in contrast with that blue light from the whole uh, day environment. And inside, he took the time to put chairs, people sitting down. I mean, that this is really good. And actually, this is a pretty good uh, composition of the of the image. Like from from this render, if you improve it just a little bit, if you maybe change the ratio a little bit, it could be a really really good render. So overall, I really liked this image. And this one was only for I think we said fifty bucks. This one not so much, but I like this one. So this one is like the winner for me until now. It's the winner. Uh, let's check out the other ones this one maybe not that much there's a lot of uh out of focus grass over here but he took the time to put trees in the background so kudos to you uh this one is kind of weird as well a lot of grass in the front this one kind of the same problem it's mostly out of focus this one it has a lot of activity in the sky the sky is a lot a, a very dramatic and everything is just has a high contrast so kind of weird for me not 
my best, not my first option, but this one kind of goes into the um, feeling of the second one that we liked a lot. So those were the images and Fahim, thank you. For 50 bucks, if you only would have sent me this one, I would have still been very, very happy because it's a very good image. And that goes to say a lot for composition. If you have a, an image that is very well composed, you don't need uh, sits more, just one. So thank you Fahim. Now let's go on over to our $80 gig. We're getting closer to a higher tier, um, $80 gig, and it's by Tony. Tony, thank you for sending over your image. He only sent in over one image, and I can say I'm really surprised. I'm kind of happy, and I kind of have like mixed feelings a little bit. The first thing that stands out are these houses right here. Remember that we said that Tony had a little bit of, a, little bit of a residential heart in him? Well, he couldn't um, help but put houses in the faculty of architecture. So he said, no, you know what, Steven, I think your faculty needs houses and luxury cars. You can even see the building that was there in the original model. But he's, he said, you know, I have a lot of houses. I just want to put some houses on your like beside your project. So thank you, Tony, for those houses, I guess. But they're not part of the project, but they look good. But apart from the houses, I think the composition of this image is spot on. I mean, it takes advantage of all the all of the stairs and all of the lines that uh, the stairs just make that focus point just stand out so much more and focus on this central path. Uh, Tony also invested a lot of time in the vegetation, the people, the leaves on the ground, and the texture over here on this little plaza. And he really uh, set out to difference between you know the this grass kind of strips and these concrete strips so overall i really like the image maybe the houses uh they look good but maybe in another kind of render it would be best but it's a good image thank you tony for sending it over and for 80 bucks it is a really good image all right so tony thank you now let's go on over to our 99 dollar gig let's say just 100 bucks i mean 99 dollars and uh, let's open it so uh, this one was by thomas or tomas and this was the final image and um, looks interesting, looks interesting. I mean, let's rescue some things. I rescue the fact that he tried to put a little bit of a displacement on the grass. So it just looks a little bit more realistic. And um, there's kind of like a, an interesting reflection. But overall, I think the image could have had a little bit more work. The sky kind of looks a little bit off, a little bit with a, with a harsh sun that doesn't represent a lot of the actual environment. And well, you know, without further furniture and people, which, you know, obviously he didn't include, uh, it looks a little bit um, alone. And, but I think what, what, what would have improved this image a lot was just the composition. So maybe it's, it wasn't the, his best moment, but still, uh, I appreciate the effort. So thank you, Tomas, for sending over your image, um, but maybe it needs a little bit of work, all right? So now let's go on over to our last and final $300 tier render. Are you guys ready to see this uh, amazing render? Because I am. And this uh, one was by A9 Render, and the final render right here Okay, so I want to say before I open the final render that um, this was the only gig, the only artist that sent me like various tests to see which image I liked best, which point of view I liked best. So she sent me, he sent me this PDF with different camera options. So this was camera one, camera two, three, four. And I thought they could have delivered the same images as the other artists, but it, but just with this, I thought this was very interesting. It just made it like worth the money, worth the 300 bucks. The perspectives, like the composition options are very interesting. I think this one was the one I selected, but I also like this one a lot. So I think they were very good. Now let's open the final render. The final render is this one. This is the final $300 render. Now, I don't know what about you, but I like it a lot. What I like the most is the texturing. You can see that for $300, you can see that there's a lot of investment in texturing these. If we get closer, he said, you know, I like your plaza, but I think you need a bench in your plaza. I think you need a big tree in your plaza. And you're kind of right. It looks best with that bench and with that tree. So thank you for your proposal. And the texturing of that of that bench looks 
very good. Now, if we go on to our the concrete over here, it looks very minimal, but it's a very nice texturing. And if we go over into the stairs, it's different kinds of texturing. It's not like repeating itself. Like you can see like these kind of holes in the concrete here don't repeat anywhere else. So it's a very good texturing. And if we go on over to the facade, you can see that the other ones just painted the whole facade. Uh, just in, in a very normal concrete which is something that i specified but he went a step further and difference the actual structure with uh, material and the covering of that facade with another material and you know you can, you can obviously see the lights inside you can see uh, you know a lot of interest a lot of detail in the texturing and of course a lot of people etc etc the shadows of the trees are really really nice and maybe the, the people are the ones that could have had a little bit more work this one looks a little bit much more in contrast this shadow looks a little bit off taking into account the perspective we wouldn't have seen this shadow or even the trees but again i appreciate the effort and for 300 dollars, i understand this was maybe a complex image to do and i like the results so Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending over your image. I am very, very happy. Please, I'm dying to know which one did you like best? Did you like, uh, I don't know, $15 one, $50 one, $45 or 50 bucks? dollar one uh eighty dollars a hundred dollars three hundred dollars how much would you be willing to pay for these images or which one did you like best um type it in the comments i want to read your opinions i want to read your points of view okay so if you are interested in using fiverr remember that you can get some great deals in there or if you are looking for a job it can also be a feasible option if you dig more being the freelance kind and maybe selecting your clients well fiverr is also the place for you. I will have all of the links in the description if you want to get discounts off of your first purchases on Fiverr or if you just uh, want to sign up, I really recommend it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in a next video. Bye.